hinge switches down here in the bottom left are mounted on the hinge side of an opening door or gate. These types are required to be teached so that the door uh, angle that represents a closed position is established prior to it being used. So you mount it on the door, you teach it somehow, and I'll show you the differences between some of these switches as uh, far as how to teach the things. What are hinge switches? Well, as you see here, they are something that has the hinge and the actuator in one device, so you don't need additional hinges on a door. You basically mount these hinge switches, which are safety rated, and uh, have that already set up for your hinge as well as your safety. So it's built into the hinge, if you will. There are 11 different models. It triggers an output that goes from close to open when the actuator reaches a user-defined switching point. So how do you get that? Well, the, there's a, you're actually going to have to teach this once you mount it on the door, and this is kind of showing right here. It says to teach switching point, tighten a set screw by hand while in the door closed position. So initially, when you get these type of switches, there is no taut position. You don't feel any detent position where there's a closed teach location. But once you mount it and you tighten that down all the way on that set screw under there, you'll hear a click and that thing is going to suddenly present two closed contacts that will be used to take back to the safety device that's monitoring that door. Once you open that door plus or minus three degrees, you're going to force those contacts open. So it's a great way of getting a safety tool on a door that's not easy to defeat. And uh, that's, uh, again, that's the SIHG63 model. Now to reach category four, you would need to have two of these on a door. However, there is another model that actually applies two different actuation devices to the same hinge. Now each of these devices on either end of that hinge has its own contacts, which is great because now instead of having to provide two different hinges here, you can simply get all of your safety rating for category four right off of that one switch and now you can use a typical what's called a, uh, a dummy hinge but it's the same profile as this hinge it doesn't have a switch on it that's going to be your other hinge that matches the same movement as the safety device there is another hinge switch this one's been around a lot longer there's a lot of them out in the field it's uh I'm sorry, this is similar to the HG63, but the model is an SIHG80. The SIHG80 is, just like the other one, a hinge switch. However, internally, it's going to have only one safety contact normally closed once it's taut. But you do, again, have to teach it, just like you had to on the HG63. Here's the big difference, this statement right here. The SIHG80 has just one normally closed contact within instead of the two normally closed contacts as with that HG63. So you definitely need two of these on a door because each one's only got one normally closed contact. Another big thing that is a differentiator between the nice and easy way of teaching that HG63 is that this one here, to teach it, there's a part that you will see that is on the top of that hinge switch when you buy it and you pull it out of the box. When you have the door closed and this is mounted, you now have to tighten this thing in a clockwise position. It's going to take about one and a half revolutions before it tightens so much that it finally snaps right off. So it's, it's kind of a gruff way of doing it, but once that snaps off, you've got that contact that's defined right at that angle that you taught it at. So not a good idea to teach it without it mounted on the door. You gotta get it on the door and the door's gotta be shut. Then you teach by cranking that thing until it snaps off. And now it's a taut piece that can't be retaught. Which by the way, is an advantage on the HG63s. There is a small disc internally that gets some impressions made on it when you teach it. Well, that small disc is something that once you uh, decide that you may have taught it uh, at the wrong position or you want to teach it at a totally different angle, you can remove that disc, replace it with a clean one, 
attach the parts together and now teach a free uh, a free teach again you you get one of those little discs in your spare parts kit so it's very easy to reteach compared to the model that I just defined here okay this is a hinge switch as well but it is a limit switch technically it's considered a rotary shaft type of a limit switch and it is something that once you mount it you're going to turn that shaft until it finally opens up the contact so as you see here there's a couple of different models but there really is uh, just one closed contact on this guy and this model has got the two closed contacts so two different models depending on how you want to set this up normally as you start to look at some of the standards they want there to be two switches per door to meet the safety categories that they're looking for such as control reliability or category four or category three well two switches per door this one's going to take up the hinge and uh, what else do you need on this door well it could be uh, a typical actuation type of a switch on the other end that would provide two different types of technologies but this technically is how this is going to work. It's tightening itself right onto the edge of the door, and as that moves, you're forcing that contact open. Thanks for watching.